Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, I know. I look like crap. Shut up. All right. Um, first off, birthday thing. Um, I decided it's going to be a vlog TV. Just come out right. Let me just come right out and say it. Um, I would like to do the game thing, and maybe I might do it with some friends of mine or whatever. But it's just that the games I have that I was thinking of doing are rather limited in how many people I can throw in. Um, like Diablo, for instance, eight people at the most. Jedi Academy, 16 at the most. Neverwinter Nights, which that would have been a beast because I got a program. If, I, if we were going to do that, I was going to have to craft a whole campaign and all that. And I've been running out of time um, because of all the other shit that I've had to do. Um, that's probably at the most, what, four or five people? That, that rather limits how many people can participate. So, since the blog TV has the biggest chance of everybody being in, I'm going to go with that. Besides, I hadn't really gone wrong with it before the few times I've done it, so I figured why well, ruin a good thing, I guess. Not that, you know, I'm egotistical enough to think that, oh, I'm going to have so many people, so obviously I can't pick the game, only a few people, then who knows, maybe only four people might show up this time. Um, we'll see. As far as the date goes, I'm not going to do it exactly on my birthday. That was impossible to begin with, because my birthday falls on Monday, and I work. Um, however, I was, I, I'm not going to be able to, I was planning on doing it on, a, the, on the Saturday beforehand. That would have been perfect. Most people are home. The problem is, my job fucked me over. I used to have Saturday off. I don't anymore. Also, for those of you who are a little bit confused about, well, what does that have to do with anything? Don't you do your blog TVs at night? I work the graveyard shift. I don't do a normal 9 to 5. I work 11 p.m. to 7 in the morning. So I need my nights free, obviously. And I tend to put my blog TVs at night. So, yeah, um, that wouldn't work out. So most likely it's going to be in the 27th, which is a Friday, I think. Hold on, let me look at my calendar. Um, yeah, it's a Friday. So, um, yeah, if you if that's a bad day for people, I can do it on the Thursday beforehand. But those are pretty much the only two days. Though, if you guys want me to do it on the afternoon, I guess I could maybe juggle that. I know I normally do them at nights, like around like 8, 9 central time. But if that's bad times for most of you guys, let me know. I'll try to juggle the date. But tentatively, it's going to be the 27th, most likely 8 p.m., I can pull it back if you want to. I can push it forward if you want to. That's why I'm giving you guys a, a little over a week to, you know, work this out. Well, actually, I am giving you a week. Whatever. You can tell I'm frazzled right now. I got a lot going on. Which leads to the next subject. Um, why I haven't been putting up many videos lately. Two reasons. Time and stress. On the stress avenue, I've most. it's mostly because I'm trying to keep this over my head. The recent shit going on has really pissed me off. I've made some headway for those of you who were concerned with that last video I put up when I was discussing, you know, that I'm trying to, if I disappear suddenly, it's because of these, these things. It looks like I'm, I'm getting some shit worked out, but it's not guaranteed, so that's why I'm so stressed out. And then, it, because that eats into my time, and also, to be honest, Every time I finally try to sit down to do a video on a particular topic, five more stupid things pop up, and it's like, I can't touch everything in one 10-minute video, and my time recently has been eaten up by other things to put out all the videos I want on all the fucking topics that has been going on. And as far as that goes on, it's like, seriously, has this country lost its goddamn mind? The things that have been happening lately, have you got... The whole mosque thing in New York, trust me, I got an opinion on that. I'm from New York. I was born and raised in New York. I was there when the towers went down. And I have to say to the people going ape shit over the mosque, get a fucking grip. The people who want to put a mosque down there, first of all, it's two blocks away. New York City blocks aren't like a couple of inches. It's quite a distance away. It's not like it's right next to the fucking site. Second, it's not the people who flew the, bl the planes in a building who are now trying to erect a monument to their terrorism. It's a group of m uh, Muslims who've been living in New York for some time, who've been worshiping there for some time, who simply just want to create a mosque on property that they own. Last time I checked, this country is full of idiots yelling and screaming about property values and being able to do what you want with your land and all that other type of shit. 
but yet now you want to tell other people who are owning land what they can do with it just because you happen to be terrified of their religion? Now don't get me wrong. I happen to believe that you shouldn't give any special privileges to any religion, but you guys give special privileges to Christians all the fucking time. Case in point, the amount of shit that they're able to get away with with tax-free dollars that we have to pay for. Which really pisses me off because right now they're running rampant, breaking the rules that they were supposed to have been following in order to use that money that's not taxed. <clears throat> I can think of a couple of things like, you know, the push for Prop 8 or the, um, the other religious um, organizations that are pushing to politicize their particular movements. They're not supposed to do that because their um, money is not being taxed. That was one of the clauses. They're supposed to be using their money specifically to help society with programs such as soup kitchens and helping the poor and things like that. Not trying to politicize their movements. That automatically is supposed to make their um, the null and void with their tax-free status. And if the IRS had any balls and if the government was going to follow its own rules, we wouldn't be seeing this shit right now. But I digress. Granted, I will say this. Considering how stupid Americans are and how reactionary they are, Putting up a mosque near that spot probably wasn't a smart move. I think they have a right to do it, but considering how these people act, I wouldn't have done it now. I would have waited until at least there was a monument put up on 9-11 before doing that. Because right now there are a lot of people pissed off at the fact that how many years have passed and there is still no new buildings or no monument put up there. Not like I'm really emotionally invested in it and I knew someone who died there, but I can understand. If, think about it. If you're somebody who's all worked up over the deaths of what happened at that particular spot, and all of a sudden um, you notice that it's been years, 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 there's no monuments being put up, and then now all of a sudden you see Muslims being able to build a mosque over there, I can understand you getting upset. It still shouldn't cloud your judgment, though. But hey, I've rented long enough on that. Um, and then there's also the stupidity about Obama being a Muslim. Guys, need I remind you about the election when you guys were jumping down his throat for that reactionary pastor of his? Hmm, pastor. That equates Christian. Now, whether or not you like the pastor or not, he was still a Christian pastor. How the fuck could he be now a Muslim? It's, it's shit like that which is really pissing me off. And, 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 and that's not the only thing that's been going on in this country that's making me want to bang my head against the wall. Uh, but enough of that. I'll rant about that on the blog TV. So, yeah. Oh, one last thing as far as the blog TV goes. If you guys have any questions or particular topics or issues you want me to bring up, now's the time to think of them. Though I have to warn you off the bat right now, most of you guys are pretty smart. So expect to ask me something or bring something up that I won't know the answer to. I don't know at all. Gods, no, I don't, I know, I don't know at all. So um, expect if you bring up a really good question for me to go, uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Let's figure it out. <laughs> so, yeah, just throwing that out there. But I know that because I get PMs all the time where people have been asking me really good questions. And I'm sorry to some people who I haven't been able to answer their questions. The blog TV, now's the time to put me in the spotlight. <laughs> you didn't answer that fucking question. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do it then. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, Catch you guys later.